Hello everybody, this is Kevin Mile T with Boaz Fighter. Wrong. This is Boaz Fighter with Kevin Mile T with the uh, evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 19th and the 26th of May 2018. Mm. So, what do we have this week in our celestial sphere? Well, we're in a very intense time, uh, communication wise cerebrally our minds our thoughts our words our navigation through life could be very intense uh, and energetic during these days it's not necessarily a bad thing we're stepping away from the fire a little bit as we um, draw a little further from the square of mercury to uh, Pluto and Mars, but we're still under the Uranus and, and uh, Mars square, and we're very much feeling the influence of it, and this is a hectic square, and this is a turbulent square, and this is a square that brings no tolerance, and a great need to rebel, and sometimes do it violently or carelessly, so we still need to watch it, <coughs> but this week we're getting a lot of energy into our cerebral sphere, and all the things connected with mercurial essences and our minds and thoughts are going to get a big push forward. We're having a air try next week in the in the we're having it uh, this week, not next week. We're having an air trine in the sky and we're having Mercury trying Pluto and uh, Mercury there's another mercurial transit that I remember. Don't remember. Ah, oppositing Ju Jupiter, right. Yeah, we're going to talk all about that very soon. So this could be a good week to take things forward with your ideas, with your thoughts, with your plans and actually start implementing things, but doing so very gently and not aggressively. When we come to the realms of relationships then and satisfaction and the way we draw in income, then this could be a trialing week. We have uh, Venus opposing, uh, opposing Saturn at the end of the week and squaring Cairo in the beginning of it. So it's a sensitive week and it's a week that we need to be extra sensitive to people around us. And it's a week that we need to be not so judgmental regarding ourselves or others with relationships and satisfaction and income. We're going to elaborate on that a little more when we get to it. So, Saturday, the 19th, Venus enters Cancer for the next few weeks and we all become more melodramatic in need of love and intimacy and warmth and a feeling of belonging, both within our relationship, within our work environment, the way we satisfy ourselves. We want to become more childlike. We want to feel cuddled during this time. It's a great time to actually concentrate during the next few weeks on your loved ones, your family members, your clan members, the people you already feel intimate and belong to. It is also a Venus that enters that ingress into Cancer sextiling Uranus, which means that an upgrade or an innovation or some kind of renewal is in need within those relationships and that could bring a lot of excitement back and that could bring a lot of um, feeling of exhilaration to those relationships and giving thanks. The moon is opposite Pluto on Saturday the 19th so watch away for drama. It is the same squaring Pluto Mars next Saturday on 26th. I'll remind you at the end of the video it's funny that our Saturdays have Plutonian aspects. Sunday, the 20th, we have Venus square Chiron, so a very sensitive time regarding relationships and satisfaction. And even the way we regard ourselves and our, our self-esteem could be lower at this time. We could see things that we are not happy with. We could feel more tender and hurt. Um, but this is also a time that we could see those pains and aches more clearly and actually address them. The moon is on the North Node on that day. It's a day with a lot of intuition. Follow your intuition on that day. 
it is also opposing Mars early morning in uh, Central Europe. That's late night Saturday in the United States. And that's uh, late um, Sunday on the daytime in Australia. And when that opposition to Mars happens, watch yourself, watch your aggression, watch it on the roads. If you're working with, uh, with your hands, just uh, be more careful and watch also your impulsivity and aggression on that time. Monday, the 21st, uh, the sun enters Gemini. Happy birthday, all you Geminis. And the moon is on the royal star of Regulus, squaring Jupiter. So when the moon is on, this, on the uh, royal star of Regulus, this is actually a good time to take big things forward, things that require strength and honor and courage. We have to do it honestly. We have to do it very sensitively and, and to be sensitive to people around us and honest because any royal star promises that if we don't do it so, we'll get to calamity. But if we do, we are granted success. So it's a good day to take things forward. It's a good day <coughs> to actually um, uh, be brave and do that first step. We just have to be careful not to overdo it, not to jump too high, too fast, too soon, not to seem uh, too sure or vain, too sure of ourselves or vain or too proud. We have to remain modest and very professional and not overdo things because there's also a square to Jupiter, as we said, uh, as I said. Stop talking to myself in plural form. <laughs> Tuesday, the 22nd. Chiron sextiles the sun and Mars, creating a <coughs> triangle in the sky, which is beautiful and blessed and could actually um, help us dress a lot of these wounds and step out of the hurt places and into a much more positive and forward-moving <coughs> and active place in our life, I'm sorry, and, and feel more powerful and, and feel more cheerful and optimistic. So Tuesday is really a good day to utilize that energy and take things forward, both in career manners and personal manners. And the endeavor you have on the table is a Tuesday is a good day to take it forward. The Virgo moon, which connects to the work we need to do, is going to try in Uranus. So uh, it's a good day to innovate and take things forward. It's going to sextile Venus. You're going to get a lot of satisfaction for it. And trining Saturn at the evening, this would actually pay as these seeds that you throw into the ground now sprout uh, strategically a little later on so tuesday good day to be active as well as wednesday when mercury in taurus is going to uh, oppose jupiter and scorpio and what is that <coughs> mercury in taurus opposing jupiter and scorpio mercury in taurus is all about our consistent mind frame that our our, our ideas and thoughts and the way we see the world and the way we navigate our life through the world in a very consistent, down-to-earth, even stubborn manner, unchanging manner. And then comes this Jupiter guy in Scorpio and finally reveals something that was hidden that opens up my horizons and, and brings in wisdom that wasn't there before and might oppose or change or threaten that mind frame, that consistent mind frame, that all time mind frame that I had before. So <clears throat> personally, we could find out things that we haven't understood or known or seen before that actually change the way we navigate or think or talk or frame our, our or articulate our thoughts uh, uh, in our lives <clears throat> that we need to um, we need to adapt the way we, we, we move mercurially through this world and through our minds because of that new information, because of that revelation. And that could happen also uh, publicly and with governments and with public officials. Things can get found out that change the way we see them or we see the course needed to be charted. <clears throat> um, Thursday the 24th, we're having a grand air trine in the sky. No wonder that UAC, the United Astrology Conference, opens on that day. And everybody in UAC, I, I must say I envy you. I wish I could be there. I saw this wonderful schedule and all the wonderful speakers and all my friends are there. But I'm on maternity leave. 
and I'm taking care of my little daughter and I can't go can't go had to cancel all my travel uh, trips for this year but next year I'm going to make up for it <laughs> UAC happens every four years though so I have to wait but no wonder that the organizers of UAC decided to start their conference on that day on Thursday the 24th Grand Earth Trine in the sky the Sun is trining the moon is trining Mars so much energy and cerebral energy an energy that is very good for proliferating and for deepening and for expanding your mind and your ideas and your knowledge so wonderful time cerebrally Thursday Friday the 25th Jupiter is trining Neptune and Mercury is trining Pluto and we're going to feel those trines all through the week let's begin with the first one Jupiter and Neptune very creative very artistic very spiritual it's about connecting to your muses connecting to your emotions connecting to nature connecting to the outside connecting to the world uh, but more the natural world than the um, urban modern people's world it's about giving yourself um, um, a smoother ride and not being so edgy all the time it's something very soothing and and um, you know there's a hormone that is produced by mothers after birth called prolactin and one of the things they found out about prolactin is that it makes you less agitated if things don't go your way <laughs> you know if the milk spills or the kid did a mess eh, let it go and that Jupiter tri Neptune is kind of a prolactin effect we don't get so agitated anymore we let things smoothly sail by and that can make us a little too passive too so watch that but it can make us enjoy ourselves and it can make us connect to things more easily and be inspired more easily and that's wonderful Mercury trining Pluto on the other hand is about a probing mind deepening of thought investigative thought understanding deeper causes and effects and understanding the intricate mechanisms that we all have underneath our surface and again it could be uh, attributed generally to revelations in government or or turbulations in government regarding new information that comes up Saturday the 26th Venus is opposing Saturn again something that we feel all through the week relationships the way we satisfy ourselves and uh, uh, the way we draw in income are all subject to a trial are all subject to um, being under scrutiny and, and judgment and if they're not feasible if they do not hold up uh, to par then they can crumble they could be uh, judged unsustainable and they could start moving away from our life we could be uh, facing some problems on these realms if the things that are involved are not positive or feasible however if they are feasible and positive for us in our life then they could be strengthened at the time we could see their importance we could see how their skeleton is growing so we could actually build around it a stronger base so it's a time to face the truth regarding our relationships regarding the way we satisfy ourselves and regarding the way you bring in income and be a little less judgmental and especially don't let your negative wolf feed don't feed your negative wolf because we could be a little too depressed or um, down under the mood on Saturday the 26th and again the moon is squaring Pluto Mars on that day stay away from drama keep yourself in the logical side on Saturday and just let things sail smoothly by and don't get stuck on the edges uh, I want to thank you for listening for private consultations for private lessons or for groups in English you're welcome to contact me I hope you're gonna have a wonderful wonderful week and that's it I'm Boaz Feiler take care and goodbye